Hello, this is Dwayne, and I'm so glad to connect with you on today. Well, this is being recorded on Christmas Eve, and I was just thinking about some things as we come to the close of 2021, some things that every investor would love to have as a Christmas gift. And I could think of a few things as we close out this year and go into a year of possible uncertainty. Uh, is everything baked in? Uh, do we understand totally what's going to happen with new variants of COVID in 2022 and the impacts that they could have? Do we understand what the Fed is doing, going to do, not going to do? Interest rates are going to go up. The impact that's going to have on your favorite stock or not have because it's already been baked in in 2021. There's a lot going on in the area of stimulus. Stimulus checks have gone out for child care. People have gotten uh, the ability to, even when they file taxes between February and April of this coming year, 2022, they'll be claiming some things as well that are part of the stimulus. Businesses have had stimulus assistance. We've had additional unemployment stimulus benefits. And a lot of that by May of next year is going to totally go away. And what's going to happen as we come into 2022? There are companies that seem to be positioning themselves pretty strong. People have highly recommended. I've said, as I look at the charts and the numbers that the financial sector, the energy sector seem to be better positioned as far as what's on their books in the bank, as opposed to tech and growth stocks. That's what it looks like. But are we baking a lot in right now in the market? And it's not going to be as bad as it seems like it's going to be. And because We've had the kind of Fed who consistently gives us hints as to what's coming. We kind of get to bake that stuff in early. And so when the actual impact comes, it's not the kind of impact we saw years ago. So when we look at what a investor would want for Christmas, I think one of the things that most investors would want would be some kind of certainty as to what is happening in 2022. However, I think that's one place we're going to be let down. I don't think right now you can talk to all types of analysts. You can read all types of reports, charts, and you're going to still find that when we get into 2022, especially in the latter part of the first quarter, we're going to see what the actual impact is going to be from some of the actions as the tapering is wound down in March. Uh, will the Fed begin raising interest rates in May? What effect does that have since it will affect companies' ability to borrow in the short term? It's going to affect the cost of borrowing. Therefore, it will affect their cost of goods sold, and therefore, it affects the bottom line, and therefore, it could affect the stock price in the eye of the larger investor. So you've had some interesting things happen. We've come through a year where the apes have fought for AMC and we're closing out AMC uh, being pretty down the end of this year. We've got NEO that's had a strong January of 2021, ending in a very low uh, position, almost half the value as we close out 2021. And so we've seen things flipped. What was said to be a strong, solid companies uh, at the beginning of this year, they're not all panning out to be that way and this happens every year but i want you to know 2021 has been an extremely volatile news year so many different things from so many different angles and i only think we're going to see more of the same of that in 2022 i tend to believe that we're not done with COVID. the variant that's out right now omicron is a mutated version of what we've had and because it's not as uh, it's not serious as Delta as it relates to putting people in hospital and people getting ill from it. Countries like the United States are certainly not looking to shut things down. Do we know for sure that we'll never get another variant that is like Delta, that is creating hospitalizations, that is creating the needs for increased health care? Uh, overrunning our healthcare systems. We don't know. We have no idea. Everyone is just as surprised as you and I are when these things come up. So what you have to do 
is you have to position yourself in the things you believe and realize that some years there may be a little bit of a down. There may be a down month. There may be a down two weeks, but you don't give up hope. You don't give up believing because you checked the company out. You did your due diligence, your homework, and you feel comfortable about what your decisions were. I've made some very, very strong decisions as it relates to 2022. My uh, foundation plays are same. I'm not shifting from those, but there's some additional stocks that I'm going to be talking about next week that uh, I'm looking into specifically as we get into 2022 in some different sectors. I've mentioned to you the Goldman Sachs, Capital One, things that financial sector that I believe are gonna do well. Goldman Sachs has had a tremendous year and it seems to look like it's gonna continue. So there are things that you can do to shore up uh, any loose ends in your portfolio as we go into 2022. But we are not going to get that Christmas gift of certainty. I believe we are going to go into 2022 with uncertainty. And I believe that the way you are comfortable is to number one, mitigate the risk that you take with your portfolio. You know what I've learned? I can't do what everybody else is doing. What everybody else is saying is the right thing for them may not be the right thing for me. What's worked for me over the years is what I know. And so just to fit in, there's no reason to try to learn what somebody else says is working for them. You've got to walk confident when you're in a time of uncertainty and volatility like we are right now. So I encourage you, keep doing your homework, keep plowing forward. You've been making money for the last seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. Don't be afraid of 2022. It's not coming to get all of it. You're going to have some winners in 2022, just like you had some in 2021. And you're going to have some things that are not going to go well in 2022, just like some of them didn't go well in 2021. But this is not the end all for the stock market. So I hope that you maybe wanted that Christmas gift of certainty, but I'm here to let you know, don't expect it to be under your tree in the morning. We are not going to get certainty as we close out this year. But we can still close out with confidence. Well, you have an absolutely great day and I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Have an absolutely blessed Christmas with you, your family and friends as well. God bless, have a great day.